All right, guys. Uh, it's Rob Anderson, Salisbury Soft Wash, uh, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, doing just a video on the actual specs for dual feeding your pump. Um, I know there's a bunch of videos. Michael Chrysler's got one out um, showing it all, but the the thing that I which was on there was the actual sizes. Now here's just the exact order. The only thing you just don't need is you don't need two of these and JSC three quarter swivels. Um, so I've got one extra part. Um, really, really solid stuff. Here um, now with me, I'm running a five and a half gallon per minute uh, pump, so it may be a little overkill, but you know, rather to have too much water than, than not enough. So I, currently, I've got a one inch uh, supply tube or supply line. So we got one inch barb to one inch male. Um, this is for reducing it down to three quarters. So we've got a one inch female to three quarter male. Um, Ideally, if you can find them together, that's great. If not, no big deal. It just adds a little bit more weight to it. But uh, three quarter female T, three quarter barb, or sorry, three quarter male to three quarter barb. You got two of those. That's the only thing you need two of. And then here we got your first GIC. You got three quarter male to this is a 12F swivel. Um, and then we've got our 12 male. JIC and then half inch uh, male go right into the pump. So we're gonna have the loop come around here, get your three quarter barb, three quarter male. Now this one we've got the female uh, three quarter and then twelve female swivel, twelve male, ninety degree half inch. Again, this can be easily scaled to do a higher flow. Uh, if you wanted to run two inches here, probably recommend to get that up to an inch. Or this could even be a two inch, and then reducing it down to one inch barbs. Um, now if you go to the one inch barbs, then you're probably going to want to step these JSCs up to 14s. Um, right now with the 12s uh, and the three quarters, put this together real quick. You can see, I mean that that's about perfect as far as whole size and flow I mean you're, you're really not reducing much at all going through there uh, so once it actually gets warm enough I'll go ahead and put these together uh, just a tip too that I found with um, getting the tube to bend for this is uh, get some super hot water and kind of either soak the whole thing in or at the very least soak the two ends in and then you can get a nice real real good bend on it uh, so the nice thing with these swivels is that then, you know, if I need to, to get in to maintain the pump, I can take that off, unscrew there, and I'm left with just that. So it takes all this stuff out of the way. Um, yeah, hope that helps.